Hi guys. It's where is the time? About five past one. No, nope, just gone five past one. In the morning, obviously. If it was this dark in the afternoon then I'd worry. <laughs> I've had a bit of a um computer day today. Um all those old motherboards that I said I was either gonna fix or strip for um, caps and whatnot have gone. I've got one um, down there. I'm going to try it. There's a few caps on there that need replacing. I'm going to have a go. Like I, well, like I've said before, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it goes in the bin. <laughs> it's simple. <laughs> um, I've got one there that I can't check because there's no, um, or I don't have a processor for that, but uh, I don't think I can actually be asked with it anymore anyway, so that's going to be the next one to go. I've been, um, actually, I've got a pot here. Look at this lot. There's various sized capacitors, and I've actually been keeping the battery holders as well for the three volt lithium batteries. Because, um, I always spend money on eBay buying them when I can just desolder them from the motherboards. There's another one on this one. This one's to go. It turns on, fan spins, nothing else happen, happens, and uh, I tried a couple of processors, and whatever that was was broken, so that might have something to do with it. It's not a capacitor, though. I'm not 100% certain what that is. But I can't see no telltale signs that any caps have gone. Although... Have a look. There's a little one in there, right above my thumb, the smallest one, the middle one of those three. Um, it's not coming up on camera, but um, the top's not bloated, but um, the sides don't look. <laughs> they do. <laughs> the sides look a bit bulged, um, so I don't think I'd trust that one. To be honest, and she has a few, a couple there as well, in that bunch there that I wouldn't trust. So that's probably what the problem is, and I just, I can't be asked. Basically, I won't pull out these little ones if I can. At the rate I've been going, I think I'll have to get a uh, new tip for the solder now. It's a draper, and it's it's done a lot. I've done about six motherboards. I've done that one as well. That was powering up, but now it's decided not to, so I just can't be bothered. I'm fed up of having them laying around and getting in the way and keep moving them. and So I just grabbed the soldering iron and brought them through here and just uh, desoldered what I could be bothered to desolder. Yeah, there's, a, there's a couple of these which I think are the BIOS chips, I think, when I used to... Um, have them as plug-in chips back in the day. Oh, got a caught in my shirt. Yep, it's got a bio <laughs> something BIOS. AMI BIOS written on it. So, don't ask why I've kept it. Not bleeding clue, to be honest. If you can hear anything in the background like talking, it's the TV in the bedroom. I've uh, turned that on. Anyway, there will be a video. Might go up before this. It depends if I lose track on the order of videos, which I have a habit of doing. Um, but I have started to build the XP machine. I've actually forgotten. Yeah, I'm not going to need it. I was going to put a floppy disk drive, but one, there's nowhere to put it, and two, you don't really need it for Windows XP anyway. So I think I'll just leave it as it is. Um, but I've been trying to decide on video card. These two are both, um, well, the amount of memory these both have is 128 megs, DDRSD RAM. And both of those ones, they're two different brands, one's an Asus and one's a Hercules, and not only am I having difficulty finding drivers for these ones, I think I found some for the Herc here, um, but these have got 256 megabytes. 
DDR SD RAM. So I'm going to use one. I think it'll be this one. Because I know they both work. I know the ASUS one works as well. But that seems to be a right pain to find some drivers for. But I bet if I Google these ones, I could find the drivers because they are. That's a gigabyte. And that is an NVIDIA, NVIDIA. And I know for a fact that's. Like I said, that's only a 128 megabyte one. Uh, I think my HP computer up on the wardrobe's got a video card in it, so I might just take the cover off that tomorrow. Or it might actually have to be Friday. Um, if I can get it off the wardrobe with my back. Um, yeah. But I would like to... Um, if that fails and it's not any better than this one or it's worse, then I'll probably use the Hercules. I'll have another look later for some drivers for it as well. I think I found the VGA driver at least for the Asus. Which is probably all I'd actually need because I never use the software for these video cards anyway. No. <laughs> I'll just plug them in and use them with the default settings. Um, I don't think... With the PC games I've got, I don't think I'll need anything fancy anyway. I have to say, out of all the PCs I've built, I think that's the best cable management I've ever done. That is actually pretty tidy. <laughs> and that's without using any zip ties or anything, or cable ties, or whatever you want to call the bloody things. Them things. I won't get my finger in the right place. <laughs> um... As for motherboard drivers, I think the only ones I'm going to need would be LAN and audio. Well, audio would help because that means I won't have to piss ass around fitting a um, PCI audio card in. Uh, I could just, uh, you know, install the board drivers and use that. I hope. Because, like I said, I've not got any really fancy PC games that require shitloads of system resources. I've got one that I need to build a Windows 8 desktop for, or I could actually put it on the uh, Windows 8 laptop. Windows 8. Windows 98. And it's um, a Rayman game. And the reason I need Windows 98 or 95 it's because it works in MS-DOS mode only. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, use that, that compact down there. That is my Windows 98 armada. Because I've got two. That one's actually got the Windows 98 COA on the back. And I've got another one. As I've mentioned in videos in the past. Um with a Windows 2000 COA on the back. And that did actually run Windows XP. It was slow, <laughs> but it worked. It didn't like it either, to be honest. It kept throwing up some error whenever I booted it up. I can't remember what the error was now. It didn't let you boot it up, but it kept throwing up some error. So that's why I reverted that one back to Windows 2000. Now, if I can, I like to um, put the original OS, if they've got a COA sticker on them, back onto the machines when I um, refurb them as part of my own collection. Although, I have got one in the bedroom that I am contemplating selling. I might get a bit of cash for it, because it does work. It does work fine. It's got built-in wireless. Um, I suppose it'll do for someone wanting it for, um, I don't know, their kids to play with or something. But it's the RM one. I don't like it. That's, that came in that job lot of laptops I bought several months ago now, and uh, I just don't like it. It's a nice enough laptop, and it works, so it's just... I don't know, I just don't like the look of it. It's the style of it I don't like. Oh, I love that HP. And that reminds me, I've got some memory um, watching in my eBay for that. Um, a couple 
couple of uh, 512 meg sticks. And um, that wouldn't actually be the last laptop I want to upgrade. Because uh, if I'm going to get rid of the RM laptop, I'm not going to bother upgrading that one. Um, although I can't remember what memory I've got on that one. Uh, nope. <laughs> Yeah. I've actually been thinking of other videos I could do that isn't necessarily computer related. Something else, something different. And I've got some 1990s era electronic scales we could look at one day. They work. I don't have the big dish that sat on the top, but they work. Pulled them out of a skip that was um, sitting across the car park. It was put there because, well, it was going by the name Martins at the time. And the Martins, um, I don't know if you'd call it a convenience store. Probably a convenience store in America, but we call them a corner shop. And actually, ironically, that one is on a corner. Not all of them were, but they were still called a corner shop. <laughs> and that one is actually on a corner. Um, yeah, they had a refit when they changed their name to McColl's. The same company that owns them, but for some reason they just changed it to McColl's. Actually, it was Martin's, and I think it went to Martin's, Martin McColl, and that was just McColl's. But yeah, they had a skip full of bits and pieces over there, so I salvaged what I could. Because I do like a bit of dumpster diving. Uh, now, this tripod on here actually makes it so much easier to hold. Make my own eyes go funny doing that. Um, yeah, I did get a few more PC games today. My Google payment actually went through a lot earlier than I thought. Hold on a second. Let's turn the volume down. Yeah, I've got a few more. We've got another PlayStation 2 game as well. MT Music Generate. I'll, do it. I'll say that again without making noise. MT Music Generator. MTV, sorry. Music Generator. And, uh, what did I get? Superbike 2000 today. Disney's Extremely Goofy Skateboarding. Just for a laugh. Venture Tycoon. Rayman Gold. Neighbours from Hell, because I thought that'd be a laugh. Arena Wars and Disney's Disney Pixar's Monster Inc. Monster Tag. Just for shits and giggles. Uh, 50p each from a charity shop. Um, including the PS2 game. So I spent £4 in total. That's not bad going. Cleared um, my eBay fees, paid those with the um, payment from Google. I had to clear a few other things. Unfortunately, <laughs> my Google payment came at the wrong time when I had a bills due, so never mind. Um, besides, from next Tuesday, I'll be able to start selling again. Tuesday, the 1st of December. Um, at the rate I'm going, this might go up afterwards. So, the well, other thing I treated myself to, in my second favourite shop in town, Black Records, is a model fire engine. It's actually from um, Atlas Editions, which um, very frequently do special offers on such models and other collectible stuff. Um, but that's only if you apply using the um, flyers they send out or they tuck in certain magazines. And you can get good, you can get models like that fire engine for a good deal. Usually something silly like one pound ninety nine or two ninety nine or something like that. Um, even though the actual retail price would be a lot more to buy um, if you didn't get it on the offer. But I got that for. Um, £6. Um, 
probably thinking why when I could have uh, applied for it on one of Atlas Edition's offers, but um, well, that is from 2012, I think the date was on the box. I saw the box early. Where did I put the box? Where's that gone? I just saw it. Either that or I'm going completely gaga. I was standing over here talking to the camera and I saw the box. Where's it gone? <laughs> um, it's been a while. I'm pretty certain that said 2012 on there. Um, it's still a bargain at that price, to be honest. Mint in its box. Well, complete with the display case and the cardboard box, which um, seems to have just done a miraculous vanishing trick on me. Because it was in this area somewhere, now it's just oh, <laughs> gone. Oh, I found it. Dipstick. <coughs> it's on the floor. Oh, it's upside down. Small, yeah, UK. Small, because it's got several different languages on it. German, French, Italian, Netherlands. I don't know what SE is, I can't think of it at the moment. PL, I would guess, is the initials for Poland. CZ, I would guess, would be Czechoslovakia. SK. No. Slovakia, maybe? I don't know. FI, Finland, maybe? DK, HU, and RO. RO might be Romania. I guess right at the bottom. Copyright 2012 Editions Atlas SA, made in China. For Editions Atlas. Root. He did Dragon 7. Oh, it's got a French address. Is that a French company then? It must be. Well, for it to be called Editions Atlas, it probably is French, because in English it's around the other way. France has this knack of putting the words opposite, so the last word goes first. I don't know why. That's just a French language, I guess. So... With a French address, it likely is a French company. I don't know much about it. I know um, my stepdad's got a few. It does it all. <laughs> yeah. On the form, Mum has asked to um, borrow a little bit of cash, as it's my payday. And it doesn't bother me, you know. I'm all for helping Mum. You know, she does a lot for me, I'll help her out. What actually bothers me, and this is just how I feel, that there's four of us. There's me, I've got two brothers, and one sister. Now, my sister's working a decent-ish job. One of my brothers is working self-employed. The other one, the youngest, is doing a bit of sort of part time ish work um, while he's doing college. But what gets me is not one of them three are willing to put their hand in their pocket, you know, to set when mum needs like, I don't know, 10, 20 quid or whatever here and there. It's not every day, it's only once a week because their money is as tight as everyone else's, you know, we've all got tight cash, but um, it just pisses me off that I feel like I'm the only one who's uh, willing, you know, but uh, anyway, I try not to rant on these videos. Uh, yeah, so I should be going to Mum's tomorrow anyway, and uh, I'm going to see if we can call in at the dump. There might be something there. No, oh, actually, I should call it the recycling centre these days. Uh, see what they've got in their shop, and see if they've got any bicycles. Uh, I 
I might bring one back, or I might bring both mountain bikes back. Um, cause I'm going to need something for content, something different to computers. Oh, nerve in my shoulder. I think, I don't know what it is, but it does it every now and again. I think my body hates me. I've got my back, my knee, my elbow, my shoulder all on the right side. You know, it's all bearable pain that gets so annoying when, you know, two or three of those spots decide to play up at the same time. And what's even more annoying is, I'm only 32, what I think I said in another video, did I delete that one? I can't remember. If I was like, 72, then I would probably accept it more, because I'd accept it as being my age. <laughs> but I'm um, 32, I shouldn't be hurting like this. It's <laughs> not fair. Uh, I've got diabetes, I've got psoriasis, I've got Asperger's disease. What haven't I got? Uh, never mind. Life is life. I hope that is a spot on the back of my neck. I can feel a lump. Sort of there. It's not sore. It's a little bit. I think it's just a spot. One in grown hair or something. Who cares? It just adds to the other ailments. <laughs> They're not really ailments. It's so friggin... Oh, it's a 512. You know, when I was looking at RAM, the HP laptop down here, Kingston seems to be um, going for quite a hefty price, even for just your DDR, uh, DDR SD RAM stuff like this, you know, your old sort of memory that was common on your XP machines. Um, still seems to be going for quite a price. Maybe it's because it's sort of getting harder to come by now, I don't know. Um, but Kingston seems to be the um, one that does actually hold the money. I don't know, is it a good brand? Mind you, I don't think I've ever come across one of these that has failed. Touch wood. <laughs> ah, ah, it's a 512 meg stick. I don't know where I can stick that. I have just the machine. Ah, if I can actually match it with one of these, I can put a gigabyte back in that one. So I pinched it out of the um, Dell. Oh God, I can't remember what it's called now. It's not the dimension. It's not the Optiplex either. <laughs> I can't remember. It's a forty-six hundred anyway. I pinched a gig out of there to put in here, and I pinched a gig out of the Optiplex in the corner to put in here because the Optiplex didn't like a gig anyway. It's meant to take a gig but it didn't like it for some reason. The only problem is this doesn't give me the PC 333 megahertz though. It doesn't say if it's PC 2700 or 2100 or this is Bravo RAM. Mm. Bravo! Who's that magnifying glass? Why do I have to print it so frickin' small? Looking at the wrong one, you dipstick. Try looking at the right one. Ah. Have I got the right megahertz rating? That's two seven hundred. Ah, 
Oh, that's 400 megahertz. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll try these two. It's either going to work or throw a wobbly at me, and I <laughs> do one of two things. Usually, if it doesn't like RAM or computer, I'll just throw a hissy at you. Right, I'm not going to put them in right now, though. But yeah, pinched a gig out of that one and a gig out of that one. I've only put 512 megs back in that one. Like I said, because this one threw a wobbly and was, it was actually acting a lot slower. That's what it was doing than it should have been. Well, it was acting slower than it was before I upgraded. So May, I do have a couple. 256 meg sticks left. I should have some more, but I don't know where the bloody gone. This is why I want to um, keep my eyes open on eBay and find some job lots of memory. Because I need them. <laughs> have you got a pot full of. Um, or did I take that back in the kitchen? No, I'm taking that back in the kitchen. Right. Da -da 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 -da. DDR2 in there, but I'm not actually sure what some of that DDR2 is, to be honest. Ah! Always put them back in here. Just wondering if I put any um, DDR in here, DDR SD RAM, or if it's the um, oops, ones with the double notches in. Yoda style. So I know, somewhere, <laughs> I've got more 256 megabytes of memory. Because that will do me just to get keep my XP's running, you know, I'm not fussy. Ooh, hello. I found some laptop memory. Ouch. We put the wall there. Look, actually, is my video done? I can see a message on Facebook, and I bet I know what that's asking. I'll check it in a minute. I will check. This is just DDR2 or what? I have the wine glass. It's designed for a Toshiba. <laughs> that's all it says. I don't know if that's um, DDR or what it is. DDR2, I'm going to keep, just keep that on there for a minute. What else have I got in here? Here's another one. That's only 256 though. I'm just looking in here on the off chance I've got um, a 512. There's another 256. That's what I've got. No. Wrong type. Serial number. Well, another one designed for Toshiba. Not sure. But it's older. Ah, it's got a serial number. I could Google a serial number, I suppose. That might throw up something. Lots of older memory. This is an Infineon, again 256 megs. Mm. It wouldn't be so bad, but laptops, obviously to save on space. Um only have two slots. Which uh ain't really much use. But uh, can't be helped. I've got to save on space somehow, I suppose. <sighs> I'm no more in that tray, is there? Nope. Ooh, I do have some hardware rails. 
Right. Got my notebook for when I can start selling again. I've got a video card up here, but I don't know if it'll work. Not what it is either. <laughs> Might have to test it. Eight nine one one. Got quite a few memory chips on it. I bet that's 128 megabytes or something. Onboard RAM. Ah, I've actually found one. <laughs> found one of what I was looking for. I go in that one. I knew I've probably got some mixed in here. So I've got plenty of this for the old, uh, you know, Windows 98 machines and whatnot, and Windows NE and. Shed loads of it. It's just the um, other type I need. DDR. I don't have shit loads of that. Used to at one point. All this. Yay! That can go there. Uh, I'll just pull the shoulder again. Fucking man. It's getting annoying. Right. This video is actually going to auto click in about a minute, so I'm going to turn it off before it does that. I haven't got much else I want to um, chat about, so thanks a lot for watching. It's a bit of a um, random vlog, so uh, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you want more videos or want to see more videos, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.